Good evening. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Juan Carlos. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. How was your day? Hi, thank you. Did you sell tickets? Fly tickets today, Wendy? Yes. <laughs> How sell, many? Uh, five tickets. Five tickets. Wow. Yes. Wendy, congratulations. <laughs> thank That's cool. you. Thank you. And Maria Concepcion, how was your day at work? Was it good? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my day is a pirate. <laughs> oh, okay. Why? What did you have to do? Uh, very, very, ¿cómo se dice? Work. A lot of work. Pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Uh -huh. Yes, you can say that you had a lot of work. I see. Well, I'm glad to see you. We are almost done with the course, right? Ya casi se terminaron las clases. Ya solo queda esta y mañana. And you, you are going to continue in intermediate. Ya pasan a nivel intermedio. So congratulations. But we will continue practicing simple past. Por, pero estos días vamos a seguir le dando a simple past para que lo manejen aún mucho mejor. I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue, okay? So we start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And then Ana Lilian. Present. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio, Francisca Present. Elizabeth, thank you. Jose Galileo, present, teacher. Present, thank you. Here, miss. Uh -huh. Jose Rodrigo, eh, Jose, eh, Laura Carolina, present, teacher. Luis Alfonso, present, María Concepción, present, Elena Peñate. I'm here. Okay. Eh, Maria Ivania, Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, Present. Zaira, okay. Zaira Larín, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Present. Jenny Santos, Cristian Ernesto. Present, Miss. Okay, Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan, okay, thank you. Juan Carlos, and Mayra Moreno. Present. Okay, thank you. Well, let's begin. Let's continue practicing simple past, okay? Simple past, remember we have different structures. We're going to practice the negative one and the affirmative one. I'm going to display different pictures. You're going to see different pictures about different activities. And you have to create one sentence. Van a haber diferentes actividades y tienen que crear una oración in past tense utilizando cualquiera de estas activities. La que ustedes quieran. Okay, so let's begin with Christian. 
Christian, can you create one sentence? In past tense, it can be affirmative or negative. Miss, uh, I drive to my house. Uh, ah, okay, uh, okay. Let you me know give when me you can. Uh, sure. A few minutes. Yes. Uh, give me a few minutes, please. Yes, no problem. Okay, Laura, you. can you create one sentence in past tense? It can be about you, a dog, a family member, anybody. Uh, uh, one. Mm -hmm. One example, I go up uh, the bedroom at 9 p.m. yesterday. One more time, please. I, Una vez más, one more time. I get up. Ah, okay. In past tense, I got. Is ah, okay. Good? I got, I got. Uh -huh. uh, I got the, the I got back. Uh -huh. <laughs> the bed the bedroom the bed the bedroom at seven a.m. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Laura. Juan Carlos, one sentence, please. In I sentence. took the I took the shower early uh -huh. in the morning. Correct. Wendy, continue, Wendy. One sentence in past tense. Mm. No veo. <laughs> no distingo. Seven. Number seven. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Wash. Wash the face. Mm -hmm. En the sentence, ¿cómo quedaría la oración, güey? She was her face. Es una oración eh, en pasado utilizando una de estas actividades. ¿Quién sería she en este caso? Ah, your digamos, Carla, no tengo. Har, Carla. Um, Carla wash her face mm -hmm. yesterday or last night. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Last night. Oscar, can you create one sentence, please? Uh, I dressed at 7 a.m. yesterday. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Just the verb. The, the verb is over here. I got dressed, number six. Got dressed at, and you mentioned the time. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Now let's check the other ones. You can make negative sentences. También pueden ser negativas. Okay, Carlos, yes? Teacher, I am here, Ellie. Tell ya, me, ya estoy acá, ya estoy ah, acá en la casa, pero... Okay, pero, okay, Ellie. La cámara no funciona. Ajá, uh -huh, I remember you told me yesterday. So, Carlos, make one sentence with any of them. Si no hizo nada de eso, puede hacerlo de manera negativa. N number seven. Uh, uh -huh. she, she did um, the iron the clothes. Who? Who is he? She. she. Number seven. seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And who is she in she, this case? She did. She did. ¿De she. quién estaría hablando aquí, Carlos? De ella. ¿Pero de quién sería siete. ella? Uh, ¿Está hablando de alguien en específico o solo de manera general? De manera general. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. She did... Uh, uh, or she did not the wash wash the clothes. 
she didn't. Uh -huh. she, did, didn't. She, did ah, she didn't, perdón, she didn't. She didn't. Wash. Uh, wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. There is another possibility. Hay otra posibility que se, que se dice do the laundry. Pero en past tense quedaría did. Did the laundry. That could be another possibility. Pero la que usted dijo está bien. That one is okay too. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Now let's listen to Galileo. One sentence, Galileo, please. I made a fancy lunch. You made a fancy lunch. Mm -hmm. lunch. Excellent and delicious. Thank you, delicious. Galileo. Thank you. Okay, uh, Arnoldo, one sentence, please. Did you wake up early? One sentence. No, no question, Arnold. Uh, no question. No question. And about the pictures, you have to use one of the pictures of the screen. ¿Cómo se dice planchar? Iron. Like Iron What? Man. Como Iron Man. Solo que solo va a ser Iron. I did iron the cloth. Ajá. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. Or I iron my clothes. When did you do it, Arnoldo? I did iron. When? Here is number seven, iron. I did iron the clothes this morning. Okay. In this case, will be like this. I iron my clothes this morning. I iron my clothes this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, now let's continue with Anna. One sentence, Anna, please. Um, five question. Number he, five. Okay. He did washing the dish. He, uh, you have two options, Anna. You can say he did the dishes. This is one option. Dishes. Or he washed the dishes. That's option two. Both are correct. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. If you want to, I can send you this by, by WhatsApp. Si quieren, les mando después esta, esta presentation para que tengan ahí las activities en caso no las tengan. Y ahí pueden corroborar verbs. Okay, but mm -hmm, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Do you have questions for me? No, no questions. Well, Saira, can you create one, one more sentence in past tense? Number four. Uh -huh. He was cleaning the room. He cleaned. Clean. Uh -huh. He cleaned the room. Okay, thank you, Zaira. I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? I'm going to start with Brian. Okay, Brian. Did you work today, Brian? Yes, teacher. You did? Okay, yes. thank you. Now, question for Luis Alfonso. What time did you stop working? Today, what time did you stop or finish working? At three, three 
al alamita. And a half. Three and a half or three thirty. Three, three and a half. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now Nelson, thank you, Luis. Nelson, when did you go to the beach for the last time? When was the last time that you went to the beach? I didn't, no, I didn't. Cuando fue la última vez? When was the last time you went to the beach? Ah. Mm -hmm. eh, last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nelson. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to share now the book. We continue in the book. And now we're going to ask Elena. Are you there, Elena? Yes, I'm here. Ah, okay, Elena. Question number one of the book. When was the last time you attended a training? Mm, la última vez. Mm -hmm. No me acuerdo cuando fue. Friday. Last week. Last I don't week. remember. Ah, okay. Last, recently. Last, uh, recently, yes. What was the training about? Well being, I think, is bienestar. About the well being of employees. Employee and my employee. Okay, correct. Thank you. Maria Concepcion, what about you? When was the last time you attended a training? In Saturday class. Last, last Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. What was the training about? ¿Cómo fue eso? Sí, ¿De qué? ¿Sobre qué fue? What was the training about? Era sobre las medidas de precaución. Ahí puede sobre... ser. Empezamos así. It was about y luego menciona el noun. Eh, prevention sería prevention. Medidas de prevención de sobre el COVID. Ah, ok. Prevention measure. Measurements. Sorry. Uh, okay, so it will be like that. It was about, y luego usted pone de qué. Okay, thank you, Maria Concepcion. Omar, what about you? When was the last time you went to a training? And what was the training about? No idea, page. One thing. You don't remember. ¿Qué página es? Miss? This is page. Forty five. Thank you, Miss. One moment. Okay, yes, let me know when you're ready. Blanca, what about you? When was the last time you went to a training? And what was the training about? Me da un synonym de brigadas. Un sinónimo de esa palabra? Ah, que es, fue una briga, de una capacitación de brigada de ¿cómo se llama? Pero de la palabra brigada tiene un sinónimo. No, no sé. Esto solo es la 
Grupo de, de contra de rame. Ah, ok. Eso. Ok, thank you, Arnoldo. Brigada de? De, de anti, antiderrames. Antiderrames anti de químicos. No sé cómo se dice. Antiderrames de? De químicos. Ah, ok. Puedo decir que fue about chemical spills. No, chemical. Uh -huh. chemical spills. Spills. I will send it in the chat. Okay. Spill. Derrames. Chemical spills. That could be one, one way to say it. And Omar, are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. I went three weeks. Three weeks yes, ago. Uh, it got it got about cryptocurrencies. It's cryptomonedas. Okay. So you study the Bitcoin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you using Bitcoin, Omar? Uh, is my company is uh, my personal. Ah, okay. But you, in a personal way, do you use it? Do you use the Bitcoin? Yes. Or you do? Mm, okay. Yes, the company use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Omar, thank you. Now we will continue with this, with the conversation. So we have Jack and Julie. It says, hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are, the, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learn a lot. Okay, now we will listen to Arnoldo, Arnoldo and Juan Carlos. Okay, so Arnoldo, you are Julie, and Juan Carlos, you are Jack. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jeff. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about, how about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did, where did it take place? It was held uh is what held at crown is what held at the crown plaza hotel do you recommend it i mean the training did you find it helpful yes absolutely most of us were pleasant pleasant with the speakers and practice okay. i personally learned a lot Thank you, Arnoldo and Juan Carlos. I'm just going to help you with one, only one word. Uh, the one you see here, it's pronounced please. Very similar to please. So just with the at the end, please. Can you please repeat, Arnoldo and Juan Carlos? Please. Mm -hmm. Please. Yes, that's please. the way it sounds. Thank you. Let's listen to Mayra and Ellie. Mayra, you are Jack. Ellie, you are Julie. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are you going at work? 
Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about, how about you? How about Just you? perfect. Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first I am prevention. prevention. Sounds good. Where did I? Where did it take place? It was held held at the Chrome Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with this with the speak speakers and practice. I personal I personally learn a lot. Okay, thank you, Mayra and Nelly. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation. The one you see here is eight. 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 Yes, eight. And the eight. one you see here is pleased. It sounds like T at the end. Pleased. Suena como T al final, no como D justamente. Pleased. Okay, Please. besides that, you did very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mayra and Eli. Rodrigo, let's continue. Rodrigo, and let's listen to Lily. Ah, Lily is having connections. Okay, teacher, from... pero ah, algo es por el internet. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Quién soy ya o Yuri? Jack, you're Jack. Rodrigo, okay. Julie. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? It's perfect. Look, I want I want to know if you attend a training last year. Where are sending the invitation for the new one? Yes, I did. The training I, I attend was about field aid and prevention. So some good where where did it Hey, please. This was here at the Crow Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it in the main? The training did you find is the is the help? Yes, absolutely. But for where please why the picker and practice? I personally learned a lot. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo and Lily. Okay, the word here, and maybe this one too. Okay, so number one is mean. That's the pronunciation, mean. Mean, and Number mean. two, aha, uh -huh, mean. And this one is help, helpful. Helpful. There's a, aha, uh -huh, there's a P helpful. in between, okay. yes. Helpful. Lily, can you repeat? I don't, maybe she doesn't hear me. Okay, but thank you, Rodrigo and Lily. And lastly, I'm sorry, Lily, did you say something? No. No, teacher, yo pensé que dijo Eli. Ah, no, Lily, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so lastly, we're going to listen to Ana, Ana and Omar. Ana, you are Jack, and Omar, you are Julie. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thank you. How about you? Just perfect, look. I want to know if you attend a training last year. Where are the sendings, the invitation for the new one? Yes, I did. The training. I attended was about first and, and previous, previous. 
Sangur, where did it take the place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? It's mean the training. Did you think in the help? Yes, absolutely. But most of you were placed with the speaker and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, thank you, Omar and, and Anna. So the one you see here is first aid and prevention. First aid and prevention. And the verb that we see here that will be attended in past tense, attended. Aha, uh -huh. attend, present tense, attended, the past. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Is there something I could help you with? Words you don't understand that you would like to ask about? No, teacher, everything is, is clear. Okay, that's good. And this one, guys, do you know the meaning of first aid? First aid? Carlos, do you? What is the first aid? Uh, primeros auxilios mm -hmm. básicos. Correct. That's... Y, pre y prevención. Yes, de, okay. Mm -hmm. de, de, de hecho, bueno, mis, mi, I try English. Okay, ah. please. <laughs> uh, we, oh, our, um, um, in our case, mm -hmm. uh, I take the, 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 the course, the fresh aid in prevention for the firemen ah, for all okay. years. Every year you do it? Every year, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very interesting and important training. Very, it helps yes. in case of emergencies. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Then we have question number one. Okay, we will listen to Wendy. Wendy, what type of training did Julie attend? What type of training did Julie attend? Sorry. Um, Question number one. About Julie, ¿verdad? About first aid and prevention. Yes, correct. It was about first aid and prevention, Wendy. Correct. Galileo. Did she find the training of great help? Yes, madam. She, uh, she find found, helpful. Uh -huh. Found it she helpful. Found, she found it helpful. Why do you say that, Galileo? I'm sorry, teacher. Why? Why do you say that? Ah, okay. Because uh, the first side and prevention uh, can help lives. lives. Can save lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be a reason why. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Galileo. Elena, Good what morning. do you think? Why did she love that training? Why did she like it? Maybe because I learned a lot about first aid and prevention. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be another possibility. She felt happy. Thank you. Any other reason why? Do you guys have any other idea about why she, she found the training helpful? of great help. Oscar, do you have other ideas? 
or Juan Carlos. I don't have idea, teacher. No more ideas. And you, Oscar? Maybe Julie talking about uh, we we are all all day place it with the speakers and mm -hmm. practice. That's another. Uh -huh, that's another possibility. So Galileo sensor was right. It was of great help because it can save lives. And Elena mentioned that she learned a lot, and she liked the speakers and practices. She practiced a lot, so she learned a lot. Okay, and then we have question number three. What do you think, Nelson? In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? Hello. Uh, in my opinion, is a, uh, what is it, a month, a cada mes? Every month? Every month, yes. Mm -hmm. Why every month? Well, Por qué? Mm -hmm. Oh. Para if you es... want to, I can give you time. Si quiere, le doy tiempo para que. Okay. Organice sus ideas y en un momento regreso con usted. About why okay, this miss. training should be monthly. Para que me explique por qué dice que cada mes deberíamos de tener esos, esos trainings. Okay. Now, what do you think about that, Zaira? How often should trainings take place? Trainings in a general way any types of trainings every every two months why in in different topics why Saira? why every two months for prepare the the employees mm -hmm. for the training the employees. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Saira. And Luis, okay, teacher. do you have a different opinion? In my opinion, teacher, it depends depend on each company. It's okay your your function your uh, work is is a company dangerous. Uh -huh. it could be could be continuous month month two month depend depend uh, the policy the company okay for for the your the employee. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Thank you for your comment. And Galileo, sure. you yes, Juan Carlos. Uh, for me, Tell monthly, me. but mm -hmm. uh, or because improve our performance, our skills. Mm -hmm. It's improve or performance. To improve, mejorar, right? Improve. To improve so, our performance, correct. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And Galileo, do you want to, to mention your point? Yes. Yeah, I, I saw, I said, according to the dialogue, uh, it's, it is once a year. And according to the local regulation, it's once a year too. Mm -hmm. That could be a, a good time, uh -huh, according to the dialogue. For me, I think it's too long because sometimes we could forget in one year 
the information, but it could work, right? It could work once a year for all the employees. Thank you, Galileo. Arnoldo, do you have a comment? In some cases, we say that depend on the company is necessary uh, maybe one one year one one time of, of year but when i work a uh, warehouse where the the employees rotate uh, continuously and the the trainings is necessary three or four times for, for per year. For oh, okay. I, I say uh, change topics every time. First aid uh, in prevention, uh, ex para extinguir fuego. Extinguish <clears throat> fires. Extinguish fire. Mm -hmm. in... Earthquake. Uh, ah, in case of earthquakes. Drill. Mm -hmm. Simulacros. Drill. Earthquake. Yeah. Different, drills. Different will... topics. Uh -huh. Three or four uh, times per year. Thank you, Arnoldo, for your comment. And we will, Anna, do you have a comment? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. In my company, it is the every month we different use the relative approach and all the new the take an exam and final. Ah, you have a test, a final yes. test. Yes. Uh -huh. Sometimes tests, tests are good because that way you can evaluate how much exactly. employees learn during the training. Exactly. Or that way they pay attention, right? Because they know they have to pass the test. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, Anna, thank you. And Nelson, did you prepare? Did you organize your ideas, Nelson? Before yes, we Ms. continue? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, como le decía, every month, uh, because to be prepared the some natural disasters in the companies and and here a good entrainment. Aha, uh -huh, that could be a good answer. Nelson. This is interesting. It's a, it's uh -huh. a preparation uh, in these situations uh, difficult. <laughs> in difficult situations yes. or hardship. Hardship yes. is. Una sola palabra y significa eso, difficult situations. Okay. Okay, thank you. I will send it in the chat in case you, you want it to have it. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Now, here we have the next activity. We will be working in groups, groups of four. And this is the instruction. I'm going to read it and then I can explain. It says, <clears throat> Imagine you attended two trainings, training about self-motivation and anger management. Express why you would recommend them, okay? Ustedes fueron a estos dos trainings, uno de self-motivation y el otro es para eh, cursos de ira, para controlar la ira, okay? Fueron a los dos. And now you have to say why you recommend them. Y ahora tienen que decir por qué los, por qué los recomiendan ambos. It's like a little presentation, ¿verdad? Va a ser como una pequeña presentación sobre ambos. Van a hablar, digamos, de lo que aprendieron, de qué aprendieron, qué les pareció el speaker, ¿ok? Van a hablar de el training un poquito, de lo que estudiaron. Do you have questions? About the activity, do you have questions? 
I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, in the group, we can change um, the training for other. Uh, no, don't change it. Because the next activity is about that. Porque la siguiente actividad ya es uno inventado. Así que no. Uh -huh. That's why, Ellen. Por eso. Ya vamos a inventar uno in a few minutes. Okay. Do you have other questions? Sorry, sorry, um, just one change. Self-motivation training is the name, is the name of the category. Este es el nombre de la categoría. Dentro de ese, esa categoría están estos cuatro, I'm sorry. Es the anger, anger management, customer service, telephone, edit, etiquette, and first aid training. Hay four, van a escoger dos. Okay. Puede ser anger management, eh, customer service, first aid training. Okay. Y aquí tienen una idea, pero ustedes van a decir más. I highly recommend this training because it helped me control my emotions. Okay. This is an idea, but try to um, speak like one minute. Pueden tratar de hablar un minuto de cada uno. Is it good enough? One minute. One of you, well, two of you are going to, to speak for the team, okay? Escogen a dos para que presenten sus ideas sobre esos dos trainings. And in case you need me, I'll be there. Yo voy a llegar y, y pues en caso me necesiten, ahí voy a ayudarles. I'm going to create the rooms, okay? One moment. Um, Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, customer service is very important for the some ah, algunas empresas que hay algunas que, que por ejemplo son de bienes y servicios esas eh, donde son es más importante bueno en, en todos lugares es importante el cliente pero claro. creería que esas son de las más eh, de donde más se debería recomendar este, este tipo de entrenamientos. Hi everyone, sorry to interrupt. Is there something I can help you with? I'm just checking on you in case you need some help or if you Teacher, have questions. So, so, solo, solo para terminar de entender. Uh -huh. eh, 
eh, tenemos que hacer algo, un extracto de, de, de los tres restantes entrenamientos, ¿verdad? No, no, you attended two. Ustedes fueron a dos, dos de ellos. Y ahora tienen que expresar por qué recomendarían esos trainings a otros. Como que digan que fueron al de anger management, el de controlar sí. la ira. Ajá. Sí, pero ese ya está hecho. No, pero lo pueden escoger y poner con sus propias palabras. Pueden escogerlos. Ah, ok. Y no okay. puede ser telephone etiquette o first aid training. El de primeros auxilios también está. Pero uh -huh. ajá, ya pueden decir, I went to anger management. I liked the training because it is difficult for me to control my, my emotions. And the trainer helped me. They gave me some tips. Nos dieron tips y ahí expresan por qué lo, lo recomiendan. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto tiempo eh, tenemos, excellent. teacher? Un minuto por cada, por cada uno. Van a hablar un minuto de un training y un minuto del otro training. Pero van a ser solo dos, a menos que se quieran este, dividir ¿verdad? La, la presentación y hablan un poquito cada uno. That could be another como, digo, como digo, me ayudó a expresarme. Así como aparece ahí en, en, en la opción, it helped me y luego el, el estrés, desestresarme. Ah, ya, ya. Ajá. Ajá, ahí. Y ahí pone el verbo después. La idea ah, okay. es que traten de utilizar sus propias palabras, ¿verdad? Porque así sacan lo que ustedes pueden decir. Que traten de no ah, utilizar bien. Google, Google Translator, sino lo que ustedes han aprendido durante todo, ¿verdad? Sus cursos. Y no importa equivocarse, okay. estamos para aprender, así que it's ok. Yo solo quiero que ustedes se expresen, ¿ok? En, si no han terminado, igual los voy a, a, a traer de regreso al main room a las 9 o un poquito antes para tomar la asistencia. Y si no, pues you, los vuelvo a enviar acá para que terminen. Ok, ¿any other questions? No, no. No, no teacher. Ok, well, I'll Thank see you. you in a moment. Bye bye. Lily, are you there? Aquí estoy, perdí la conexión. Ay, Lily, ok. Está fallando bastante linda. Y Lily, Lily este, logró estar en un equipo. O ya se ve. No, cuando, cuando di a hacer clic, ella en lo que estaba pasando no entré a ninguno. Vaya. La voy a enviar a uno. A uno de ellos. La voy a asignar bueno. con. Let me see. Ok. Eh, group number three. Ahí va a recibir la invite. Sí. Okay. Ya que presentación, ya está lista con la máquina ahí, María Concepción. 
Hi, everyone. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just checking on you. Is there something I could, I could help you with? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I don't Do you need help? Mm -hmm. We have a question. Uh, we are five. Um, after we are four in this moment. Who was working with you? Change, change to Jenny. Ah, Jenny is in a different room. Mm -hmm. I changed okay. her because there was a group just with two, two people and you had five. So that is why I, I removed Jenny from the group. What time for this for this uh, work? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about ten minutes. Is it good enough? Ten minutes. Okay. At at eight fifty nine, I'm going to send you the invite to return because I have to take the attendance. But if you haven't finished, I'm going to send you back here again. Okay. After I take the attendance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Any other okay. questions you may have? No more. No, oh. no sé, mi compañero. María no, Concepción, sí, sure. Rodrigo? No. No, sí, sure. no. Okay. All right. I'm going to go and I'll see you in a moment. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jenny. Nice to see you. Hi, teacher. Did your classmates um, explain to you what they are doing? Ya le explicaron mm -hmm. que estábamos haciendo. Yes. Oh. Eh, elegir dos eh, framing. Mm -hmm. y, ¿Y por qué? Porque, porque son útiles. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why you would recommend them? ¿Por qué los recomendaríamos? Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Okay. Ivania is not here. Ivania is, is working in this moment. Solo estarían you, right? Four of you. Do you need help? No sé si tienen alguna duda. ¿Necesitan algo? No. And how are you doing? ¿Qué tal van? Ya casi terminan. O van comenzando. Por el segundo vamos. Ah, okay, good. In about two minutes, I'm going to bring you back to the main room to take the attendance. Okay. En unos minutos los voy a, les voy a enviar un request para tomar la asistencia y luego pueden regresar acá. If you haven't finished. Okay, okay. all right. Well, so you can continue and, and I'll see you. See you in a moment. Ese de, de, de sal, uh, la que dijeron es, why did it help, mm, me convence, ahorita lo voy a buscar, uh -huh. lo que hicimos poner es, sorry to interrupt, hi, no. hi teacher, hi teacher, have questions for me, ahí está la otra que dijo Omar, I recommend, Sí, está buena la que habíamos puesto en el, en el chat, que, que habíamos puesto why did y no sé, no me cuadraba mucho. No, no, it's correct, it's recommended it because it helped my increase sales. Ah. Ah. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Recommended. Recommend. It because. Because. This is correct. Sorry to interrupt. El único comentario que les daría es que siempre tienen que comenzar con un, con un sujeto. Por ejemplo, ahí uh, podría uh, ser. It. We. Porque lo recomiendo. Ah, nosotros. Ah, uh, uh -huh. ok. Teacher. Number one ya tiene sujeto. Ahí está ahí. We allow to Ah, pero, pero nosotros pero aquí sería, estamos redundando. Eh, aquí estamos como redundando, teacher, al poner is allow with juice. Nosotros les recomendamos. Ah, aquí también quedaría ahí, vea. Ajá, en el tercero. Ah, teacher, sí, ya no va a sacar, teacher. Pero el primer recomendado. 
Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I have to take the attendance at nine and, and then you can come back here. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. We did eh, increase, eh, decía increase la venta, dijo, ¿verdad? Nosotros recomendamos, habían dicho recomendamos. Ah, we recommend. We recommend it. Uh -huh. El entrenamiento, que sabe? Uh Okay, now that everyone is back, I will take the attendance. I will take the attendance really quick. So we start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jose Galileo. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Thank you. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Ok, Luis, I see you. <laughs> eh, Present teacher. Ok, María Elena. I'm here. María Ivania. Nelson Cabarrete. Here, here, okay. Miss. All right. And then Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Cristian Ernesto. Jose Arnoldo. Uh -huh. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Ok. En Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. I don't hear you, Mayra. I, I know you're there, but no sound. No, no hay sonido. I don't know what happened. No se escuchaba nada, but. Ok, I have you here. No. No sound. No se oye nada, Mayra. Solo las expresiones faciales. Just your gestures. Okay. Well, uh, no let's esto. move forward. Two announcements. Well, two reminders. Number one, um, remember to try to finish everything on the platform. Okay. The final test, uh, homework number four. Try to have everything done by tonight. So tomorrow everything is completed and I can update your, your grades. And number two, if you were not here yesterday, remember we will take the survey tomorrow at 9, 10 p.m. Dos anuncios nada más o recordatorios. El primero es de completar la plataforma. Todavía hay algunos que les falta un poquito ya para terminar. Y su final test también. Y lo otro es que um, recuerden que mañana vamos a tomar el, las, la encuesta a las 9 y 10. Así que traten de, de estar en ese momento en la clase. Ok, now before I send you back, I was planning on giving you five more minutes. Si ¿Sí quedan bien con cinco minutos más para terminar la, la presentation. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, si necesitan yes, algo, teacher. me mandan, ¿verdad? Si no, ya quedamos a, at 9.9. We will be back. 9.09.
Could you finish, Arnoldo? No, teacher. I don't hear you, Arnoldo. Or is it me? Let me see. Can you say something? No, we can. Ah, think. okay. Okay, now I hear you. We it cannot. My mind. You couldn't finish. We cannot finish. Ah, okay. Right. Let me check with the other, with the other um, groups. Let's see what Maria, happens. Maria, Maria is preparing the presentation. The, the skills is, is over, but the, the, the presentation. Ah, the presentation is, is not done. Ah, okay, yes. that's all right. You can just read, read the info. That's fine. Okay, so let's begin with Brian, Galileo, Mayra, and Oscar. It was me, Mayra. My, my audio was off. That is why I didn't hear you. Era mi audio, sí. el que no, uh -huh. no agarraba, porque estaba ahí sin sonido. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, may I share my screen? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Okay, so we, you have our attention. Okay. Okay. My group sales present sales motivation training and the first anger management. I am glad to recommend this training because it helps to understand people. But first of all, I can manage myself. I can give advice to other people and and I, and I try to call down when there are some discussion. And this helped to be a better person. In summary, I learned to be a person with emotional intelligence. Customer service. This training is very useful for the business growth. Customers will prefer you over other brands for the good service. We can to make feel well to every single customer and we can to make they will come back again. The customer ever had the reason, even the customer don't, it don't have it. Hmm. Ah, okay, <laughs> you use the phrase. Yes, you have to do, do it, right? Thank you for the presentation. I could see that is something that you, thought about. Me gusta que lo hicieron personalizado con sus propias ideas, your own words. That's very nice and well explained. I will give you general feedback later. Luego cuando ya terminemos todo, yo les doy feedback, okay? But thank you. Okay. It was very thank nice. You. Now let's continue with Blanca, Laura, Omar, and Wendy. Okay. Uh, customer service. We recommend customer service service training. It allows us to increase the level of truth with user. It allows us to improve, improve the profitability of the organization. We recommend because they increase sales. sales. Oops, no falta una hoja. Aquí está. First. First aid training, we recommend it because it helps use prevent accident in the workplace. We recommend this training because it is very important to have knowledge to protect lives. Hasta ahí, teacher. Okay, thank you for your effort. Group number two, okay. I know I know it's difficult to elaborate the ideas and to put everything in, in order, but you you made a big effort and that counts. Okay. 
It was supposed to be longer. Se, se suponía que era un minuto de cada uno. Pero está Ay. bien. It's okay. Ay, teacher. <laughs> okay. That's fine. No so, nos pusimos de acuerdo, teacher. Okay, yes, don't worry. I liked it too. You try to do it your, uh -huh, with your own words. Now let's continue with Nelson, Jenny, Elena, Juan Carlos, and Ana. Oh, to share. Yo iba con Juan Carlos, María Elena, Suleyma, y María Ivana. Yes, correct. Can you continue? Okay, María Elena. Yes, we uh -huh. need. Nelson es, es que Nelson tiene two devices, right? Nelson, usted estaba con Arnoldo, right? Trabajando con Arnoldo, no. Yes. Ah, ok, sorry, solo ese cambio. Entonces, ajá, Ana, and the others you mentioned, Ana. Sorry. Ok. For customer service, increase confidence level, efficiency in customer service, know how to listen the client, um, customer loyalty, um, with the good customer service is the option for the training. First aid the training. It is important to know fields aid for emergency and to be prepared in different areas for emergency. Uh, fears aiding can lessen the severities on the emergencies at the certain time and place in the company. To finish the show. Okay, thank you for your effort. I appreciate it. And later I will give you feedback, okay, at the end of the presentations. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. So now let's continue with Carlos, Eli, Luis, and Zaira. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Customer service. I recommended this training because I learned the best form of training of the customer. It helped it help me to talk about the product. Fresh aid training. I highly recommend this training because it prepares you help some, someone if they need uh, other because it's very important for the safe the life of the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Carlos, Saira, for presenting the information on behalf You're of welcome. your team. And it's then- a, I have a question, sorry. Yes. I have a question. Eh, eh, work, okay. Trato. Spelling. Eh, eh, no sé si está bien escrita. Trato eh. a los clientes. Yo la puse así, pero no. Pero it's estaba a, seguro. Just the H. Remove the H. Solo la H hay que quitar, Luis. Ah, okay. And that's ah, okay. the only... Okay. Uh -huh, the only change. Ah, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay, and the last group, Jose Arnoldo, Rodrigo, Maria Concepcion, and Nelson. Maria Concepcion, terminada la presentación. Or do you need more time? Si no, doy un poco de feedback. Les hago un poquito de tiempo. Arnoldo, if you're not ready. 
or Solo María, si ya terminó, si no. María Concepción, podemos... are you there? Or can you give the information without the presentation? Podemos leer si quiere. Yes, yes, you can do it like that. Okay. Mm. I'm going to give you a minute to prepare. I'm going to no, give some... I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Ah, okay. Customer service training. We recommended this training that it is essential that the employees have a deep working knowledge of the organization offerings. And then soft skills will help your employees better communicate with customers and your company, the mission and vision values increase, increases them. For other, for other topic, telephone etiquette and answering procedure training. We recommended this training for the, the employees clean her minds he learned about answer telephone promptly, be present with your caller, prepare your phone voice, offer the standard grading, and be prepared before you respond with more polite. No more. Thank you, Arnoldo, for presenting the information of your team. I appreciate it. So, I, well, congratulations to all of you. All of you did well, and you tried. You tried your best to, to give or to talk with your own words. I only have very few feedback, okay? Very few points to talk about. Okay, so number one, infinitives. No sé si se recuerdan de este nombre gramatical. Infinitives. We use them in different ways. El infinitive es cuando utilizamos to, and then we use the verb in the base form. This is what we call infinitives. Okay. They can be used in different ways, but I'm just going to tell you about when you have two verbs. Se pueden utilizar de diferentes maneras, ¿verdad? Así como acá, esos son infinitives. To go, to play, to work, to study. These are infinitives. A esto se le llama infinitive, que lleva el to y el verb in the base form. Entonces, una manera de utilizarlos es cuando tienen dos verbos. Como que si yo quiera decir, I like, and I need another verb. Necesito otro verbo para completar mi idea. Aquí puedo utilizar un infinitive. To eat tacos. Ahí está mi infinitive. Me sirve de, de conector. Que okay, es connecting two verbs para unir dos verbos. Necesitan poner en medio de ellos un infinitive. To and the second verb in the base form. Entonces, noté en algunos casos que utilizamos el infinitive, the second verb, in past tense. Eh, no lo pueden utilizar en past tense. Siempre tiene que ir el verb in the base form. So, for example, we recommend to eh, go to this training. Aunque sea en past tense la oración, el segundo verbo va a ir in the base form, ¿ok? It doesn't change. ¿Ok? Solo les quería dar ese punto. Um, y luego, esta es una palabra que iría así, sobre, la, sobre el spelling, sería first of all. Así es la manera correcta de poner este, esta frase, first of all. 
And number three, this is the correct. Prepare, that's the pronunciation and the spelling of the verb prepare. Okay, just those points. Solo quería darles esos pequeños puntos. Do you have questions for me? Carlos, no questions? No, Galileo? Teacher, teacher. No, teacher, no. just congratulations for your clear explanation. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now let's continue with this one. Okay, so Elena, this is, this is the moment for the training that you want to talk about. It says write an email, you can use the chat or the, um, you can do it in the notebook and send me a picture of that on my WhatsApp. It says write an email recommending a workshop or training course and providing information about it. You have to talk about one training or a workshop that you recommend and provide information about it. Entonces aquí sí, ustedes pueden escoger cualquier taller o capacitación porque lo recomiendan y provean información, ¿verdad? De qué hay, de qué hay en ese training. Pueden enviarme su paragraph, su composition by chat or by WhatsApp. Okay. Um, would it be five minutes, okay? Están bien con five minutes? Or do you need more? Para que pongamos un, un time frame. ¿Cuánto tiempo calculan? Five minutes is okay. For you, five minutes. ¿Y los demás? ¿Están yeah. de acuerdo? Or not. <laughs> what Seven. Do you think? Seven. Okay. Seven that sounds good. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Seven minutes. And if you need my help, I'll be there. Después de los siete minutos, empezamos a escuchar algunos. Y los demás me quedan de tarea a mí calificarlos. Okay. So I'm going to give you a moment.
I send one paragraph in WhatsApp. Okay, Arnaldo, let me check. Uh, implement appropriate about. What is the next word, Arnoldo? I don't listen. Can you hear me now? Yeah, in this moment, okay. yes. Yeah. What is the word that is after appropriate? ¿Qué palabra es la que va luego de appropriate? About. No. About. Ah, okay. When you say implement, it's like equipment. It's como el equipo, Arnoldo. Equipment. Ah, okay. Change for, change for equipment. Uh -huh. Yes, put appropriate equipment for industrial appropriate equipment appropriate for. Equipment. For. Okay. Appropriate has a double P. I will send it in the chat. Double P. Uh -huh. Yes. Double P. Excellent. Like three. Uh -huh. Three P's at the end. Okay. Thanks for your support. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, time's up. Okay, who else is ready? You can send your paragraphs to me. And we will read some. We will listen to some of your trainings. Or work. Yes, me, me, me teach it. Me, mm, just. Ay. Yes, Ellie. <laughs> we hear you. <laughs> Lo leo. Please. Mm, but to HR from training house. Subject. We are invited to be part of our training under management where we do learn the techniques of control and administration of employees. Only mm -hmm. that. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Say techniques. That is technicas, techniques. Techniques. Mm -hmm. Techniques. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ellie. Galileo. Teacher, what yes. did, what, teacher. What do you mean in the anger management? management. Anger management. In Spanish. Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Control de ira, de la ira. O manejo ah. de la ira. Como es no que enojarse. Sí, yo lo vi. Yo lo vi así como control de la ira, pero cuando uno busca solo la palabra management de esa administración, Mm -hmm. Yes, pero es una palabra compuesta, eh, que va de dos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Es todo. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Galileo, can you read yours, please? Yes. Uh, to human resources manager from Quality Control Center. Subject. I recommend a good manufacturing practice training. Dear HR manager, I am glad to recommend this course because the production team need to know all about GMP and future security too. The reason why they can take this course is because they are manufacturing food. In this case, the manufacturing dough in this case, they manufacturing dough, pizza, and pastas. They need to know all about food management and how keep it safety to keep safety to the customer too. With this, uh, yeah, customer too. With it as the verb, right? Uh -huh. 
Okay, Galileo, thank you. So we will change the last one, I think. But yes, it's correct. And it's a very interesting uh, training. Food management, pretty much, right? Manufacturing practice training. Thank you, Galileo. Good job. Just change, change the last yeah. verb, the last yeah, word. Thanks. Okay, Juan Carlos, can you read yours, your email? Okay, to people arroba gmail.com dot com and JC JC Rivas arroba gmail dot com subject a workshop about first aid dear co-workers I recommend taking the first aid workshop to be able to use to use it in any area of our life to be prepared for any eventuality short but concise okay thank you Juan Carlos good good email Carlos are you ready yes teacher you uh, Luis Ventura uh, arroba perdón arroba ah. como es at, uh -huh. at, at gmail.com dot com, from, com. Car, car, com mm -hmm. from Carlos Escobar at gmail.com yes subject fighters flight fighters flighting training is correct fire repeat fire fight fighting fire fighting I don't find in training. Yes. Uh, I highly recommend this training because it helps help us prevent fires. Uh, check the check fire extinguishers and use them correctly. Mm. Only that. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Is correct. It's extinguisher. That is the, the pronunciation. Extinguisher. Correct. Uh -huh. Extinguisher. Thank but besides you. that, yes. Thank you, Carlos. Luis, can you continue, Luis Alfonso? The Bitcoin training. Luis? Just activate the microphone. Sorry, teacher. Uh, okay. My email to Miss Evelyn Marinero that English Corporation.com from Luis Martinez to printer email.com Soviet friend implementation Bitcoin in El Salvador. Sir Miss Marinero, two months ago I received a training about implementation use of Bitcoin in El Salvador for people of Spain and Argentina. I recommended this training because it's very important for the implementation in our company. We could be increase our sales and our Utilidades, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Uh -huh. I owe you that one. For, okay. Uh, two for the valuation in the world. Uh, only that teacher. Okay, thank you. It's very interesting. Uh -huh, it's very good. And I will tell you tomorrow that word because utilities in English that is something different. It's like the basic things of a place, of a house. So utilities es como los, los servicios básicos en casas. Entonces no es esa palabra que vamos a utilizar en, en un financial context. But I will okay. try to tell you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. I will take notes and I will tell you. Eh, Luis, okay, you. el punto en este caso para para email addresses se, es el dot se dice dot com así sería dot com okay 
Yes, Ajá. I don't remember. Thank you. Ah, ok. Y el at, que sería ahí la arroba, ¿verdad? At. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. We will continue in this moment. I I would like all of you, the ones who haven't read it, to send them that. Can you send it in the chat, please, Elena? And Blanca, can you send it in the chat? That way I'm going to have all of them there. Si me lo mandan todos al grupo, así los tengo todos en el grupo y no se me confunde ninguno. And that way I will check them. Send them to the group and I will read. I will read all of them there. Okay, so we will continue with another activity. We're going to improvise. Vamos a improvisar un poquito. And we are going to have uh, dialogues, conversations. Vamos a, a rifar unas conversaciones y las vamos a improvisar. Okay, so this is the way we will do it. I'm going to write a number in my hand. If you guess the number, you're going to participate in the conversation. Si ustedes adivinan el número que tengo en mi mano, van a ser uno de los ganadores de una conversación improvisada. In past tense, okay? Vamos a tener tres, así. Y otras, si nos queda tiempo, si las vamos a, a practicar, okay? All right. We're going to start with Laura. A number from one to ten. Un número del uno al diez, Laura. Si me dice el que es, va a ser una conversación rápida e improvisada con alguien más. Oh, no. <laughs> eh, nine. No. no. Nine. nine. Okay. Number nine, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Blanca, continue. One number, please. Except nine. Because it nine. was taken. <laughs> Eleven. From one to ten, the one al diez. Ah, the one al diez. Eight. No, thank you. Wendy, a number, please. Five. No, thank you. Juan Carlos, tell me the number, Juan Carlos. Number three. No. Okay, Zaira, one number, please, from one Four. to ten. Four. No? Okay, Anna, one number, Anna. Seven. Okay, Galileo, continue. Number two. No, Carlos. One. Number, number one. one. Yes. Okay, so we have Carlos. Vamos a, a encontrarle su pareja. Your online okay. uh, couple. Okay, one moment, Carlos. Luis, Luis Alfonso, tell me one number, please, from one to ten. Uh, the microphone. Number eight. Number eight. No, Jenny. Two. Yes. Number two. Parece una C, pero es number two. Okay, it's number two. Okay, so we have Carlos and Jenny. Okay, talk about your last Christmas. A little conversation about the last Christmas. Van a hacer una conversación en simple past y van a hablar de la última Navidad, last year. Okay, yo les digo cuando paren. Jenny and Carlos, you can start. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Jenny. When was the party? What? When was the party? When was the party? Uh, the Christmas. Ah, okay. The Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. What is the traditional food? In Christmas. Uh, the traditional food uh, in my family, uh, we we ate is bread with chicken. Ah, okay, it's delicious. Uh, delicious. 
in your yes. in, in your yes. house? Yes. Uh, also, she she can uh, fight. Um, man, <laughs> oh, uh, one one time in in twenty four uh, December, but uh, thirty one. I, 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 I made the road, road meet with my family. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Thank you, Jenny and Carlos. Congratulations, you understood. And you talk a little bit about last Christmas. Okay, I have a question for you. Do we raffle it or does do Carlos and Jenny choose? ¿Quieren que lo rifemos o escoge uno Carlos y uno Jenny? What do you prefer? Yes. Jenny, Jenny que elija. Se van a sentir <laughs> culpables. <laughs> or do yes. you want <laughs> Ok, vaya, lo vamos a rifar. Así no, no se sienten culpables. Ok. Um, Nelson, one number from one to, to ten. Eleven. No, eleven is not in the list. From one to ten, the one al diez. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, number five. No. Uh, Mayra. I, number four. No. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Brian, Brian. <laughs> what number? Number three? No, number three is not the one. Rodrigo? Number two? No, thank you, Elena? Number 10? No, thank you. Uh, Omar? Uh, seven. No. Eli? Five. No. Number five. Ya lo dijeron. Next. Six. Number six. No, it's not number six. Maria Concepcion? Seven. Next, ese ya lo dijeron, María Concepción. Eight. Yes, that's the one. Number eight. This is number eight. <laughs> okay, so we have María Concepción and we need one, one more person. Laura, tell me one number, please. Uh, two. No. Blanca. One. Yes. Number one, again, ahí está. Okay, so Blanca and Laura. Okay, oh. <laughs> talk about your weekend. Last week. Oh. Okay, una conversación sobre su fin de semana. Okay, past okay. tense. Okay. okay. Hello, Blanca. Hello, did you, Laura. Did you study English this weekend? <laughs> eh. Ay, ¿cómo se contesta el pasado? <laughs> no, I didn't. Ajá, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. What eh, bad? Eh. What bad? <laughs> eh, I, I have practiced English, Blanca. <laughs> eh, uh, did you go to watch the film in the cinema? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, uh, I, I am sleepy on Saturday. It's <laughs> Sunday. Oh, okay. Uh, did you watch TV last night? Eh, re, re, ¿cómo es? Eh, repris. Ajá, <ríe> repris. 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 Repris.
Did you watch, watch TV last night? Uh, yes. Uh, various series in the Netflix uh, was um, until midnight. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Thank you, Laura. Ay, okay. Thank okay. you, Blanca. Good job. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> okay, let's continue. The last one, okay? But now we will choose a color, okay? One color. Wendy, can you tell me a color, please? Pink. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos? Purple. Mm -mm. Zaira? White? No. Anna? Real? No. Galileo? Black. Black, no. Carlos? Yellow? No. Luis? Red, teacher. Red, no. Jenny? No. Se puede repetir, Jenny. What is the color? Green? Yes, that's the <laughs> color. Green. Okay, so we have Jenny. Ya tenemos a Jenny. Um, okay. Now, let's see. Vamos a conseguirle pareja, Jenny. Nelson, one color, please. Brown. Repeat. Brown. Brown. No. Yes. Mayra. ¿Quiere ayudarle a Jenny, Mayra? Color. Ay, pero no se me ocurre ahorita color. Ay. Ya lo dijeron todos, teacher. But you can repeat. It's a new round. Vamos a repetir porque es una nueva ronda. Solo brown okay. prácticamente está ahorita. Ahí están todos. Available. Yellow? Yes. It's yellow. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Valió la pena la espera, right? Okay, so Mayra and Jenny. Your conversation is about the pandemic in 2019. Talk about the pandemic in the past. Okay, okay. we hear you. Okay. Hi, Mayra. I, Hi, Jen. Did, did, you, did you work the last year? ¿Cómo? No le escuché. Did you work the last year in the office? In, in your work mm, in my in my eh, teacher es en pasado verdad yes yes Mayra um I was um I no sé cómo decirlo what do you want to say I, ¿Qué quisiera decir, Mayra? Le escucho algo cortado, teacher, pero... <laughs> ¿Qué quisiera decir? <laughs> What do you want to say? Que estuve, porque Jenny me preguntó si este, el año pasado, que si en el año trabajé... Uh -huh. Para la pandemia, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. que sí, como a medio, como, como home office. Ah, ok. You can say, I worked from home. I oh, worked okay. from home. Um, entonces, Jenny, I work from home. Mm -hmm. And you? Uh, yes, uh, one month in my house. In other, other month in, in the office. In your job, stop the activities? In the pandemic? No, I, I, quería, went, es en pasado, ¿verdad? Salir. Go, ajá, uh -huh, went, in past tense. Ah, bueno, sería, I, I didn't go, I didn't go out. ¿Qué más salí? No sé si te iba bien. Mm -hmm. I didn't go out. 
I I usually I stay in my house. I when I stay is stay. Mm -hmm. I yes. stay in my yes. house. And you, Mayra? In my in my work for in my work no stop the activities. We didn't. We didn't stop the activities. But we thank you, Jenny. Stop. And thank you, Mayra. Good job. Okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so you understood. I know it's difficult. Es más difícil cuando uno no puede planearlo y solo tiene que hablar, ¿verdad? Es diferente, totally different. So we have to improvise a little bit. But you could, si pueden. Así que ya ven, podemos hacerlo más así improvisado. So, yes, just that comment. Para pasado, Mayra, hay que usar el didn't. No diríamos no, sino que hay que poner el didn't. Didn't y el verbo. O si no, pues lo cambiamos. Okay, tomorrow I will tell you a little bit about the ED endings. Así que mañana les voy a explicar el sonido porque hay unos verbos que son regulares que todos terminan en ED, pero el sonido cambia. Hay tres sonidos, así que mañana les voy a enseñar un poquito de pronunciación, de cómo es que suenan. Now I'm going to take the attendance and just to confirm, Rodrigo, are you here, Rodrigo? Rodrigo, se yes, va a quedar sure, conmigo, yes. ¿verdad? Yes, sure. Ok. All right. So I'm going to take the attendance. Recuerden si no han terminado sus activities en la platform, try to finish and try to come to tomorrow's class. Traten de venir mañana. Es nuestra última clase together. Ok. So now let's take the attendance. Ana, Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. And Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Then Maria Concepcion. Luis Alfonso. Present Sorry. Uh -huh. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Okay. And then Maria Elena. Maria Ivania. Here. Okay. Nelson Gavarrete. Present, Luis. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Present, teacher. Cristian Ernesto. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. En Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, guys, you are free to go. I'm going to stay now with, with Rodrigo, okay? But have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, bye Miss. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, bye. teacher. Blessing. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you. Okay, one moment, Rodrigo. Um, just hold on. I'm just going to make sure that it's just us. Okay, Rodrigo, how are you tonight? Nice. Very You're well. fine. I'm glad to hear that. Well, we can study a little bit more. Would you like to study pronunciation, speaking, or do you want to reinforce a topic? No, it's... Uh, 
hay unas palabras ahí que aún me cuesta pronunciarlas. Ah, sí, ok. Pasarla. Pronunciation. ¿Quiere no, decirme sí. las palabras que le cuestan o cómo quisiera que lo, lo hiciéramos? Me gustaría este, retomar toda la lectura. Este, ah, ok. De la página 41, sí. Yes, ok. La conversación de la página 41. Page 41. Bye. Yes. The one here. Esta, ¿verdad? Sí, la anterior. Sí, la anterior es esa, es la 42. La 41. Ah, ok, ahí está. Tengo problemas con las palabras. Esa primera parte es Spear. 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 Sí, güey. En Suwen. Correcto. Ajá. Quisiera que lo lea todo yo primero o quiere leerlo usted sí. primero. Si gusta, lo leo yo y me corrige si estoy okay. o no mm -hmm. bien. Yes. Ok. Uh, hi, Eric. Did you, did you buy the spirit part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was 78. Ok. I did the evaluation of the product. Of the product, that's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was a night as usual. Well, you did very well, Rodrigo. Maybe the only word that I didn't hear correctly will be that one, suing. Sewing. Ajá, sewing. The sewing machine. machine. Ajá. The sewing machine. Yes, that's the way that one sounds, but the other ones, the, the pronunciation was the right one. The spear is spear. The spear. Spear. A spear. By the spear. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Spear. Right. Uh, next speech. Next conversation. Mm -hmm. Next. Los recuadros que vimos aquí. Sí, más. Página 42. Ahí. Esta. On okay. the November 3rd. Sería 1st. 1st. Suena como hoy. 1st. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of November 1st, I bought a spare. Part of the printer at the spare EAs. The price was 200. The brand was streetwear. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. 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 Mm -hmm. Neither. The other words were correct. Uh -huh. First, bought. That's the, the way this one sounds. Bought. Bought. Uh -huh. Suena bought. solo como oh, bought. It neither. Needed. Uh -huh. Neither. Pero no va la E, solo la, la primera E, la segunda E no ha pronunciado, sí. No, suena como neither. Needed. Como neither. con R. Lo escribiría, sonaría algo así cuando uno lo dice. Needed. A needed. needed. Mm -hmm. We need it. Needed. We need it. Redware? Redware. Mm -hmm. That's the name of a Was company. Mm -hmm. Yes, Redware okay. would. Sound good. Okay. Uh, on January 2nd, I bought the rich part that were requested. The price was 30 days and they were installing the sewing, sewing machine. Sewing, sewing machine. 
the machine was working properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, in this case, we have to say requested. 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 Uh -huh. Requested. 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 You, can, you have two options with that one. 30 or 30. Two possibilities. 30 or 30. Mm -hmm. So I usually Ish. say 30. Each. 30. Uh -huh. 30. But you can say 30 and it will be fine. Sorry, ish. Okay, working properly. Working properly. Okay. Y pues, la siguiente, la siguiente página. Mm -hmm. Next page. La siguiente, sí, next page. Yes, ahí la palabra es la misma de ayer, la, la noche. Ah, knowledge, knowledge of Knowledge, sí, sí, sí. Incluso lo había notado. Es yes. knowledge. Knowledgeable, yes. Es knowledgeable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y la, bueno, la, la, la lectura mejor. Uh -huh. Hi Eric, how is it going? Hello Mr. Lewis, I am just fine. Thank for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was a challenge. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was a very knowledgeable. Knowledge, knowledge knowledge. Knowledgeable. 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 Did he provide a sample of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And uh, he used a computer to provide a sample. So good. So everything was fine, right? Well, has some minutes, minutes late. And we left you late. See, it's a palabra again. Late. Knowledgeable. Ah, Knowledgeable. Yes, Knowledgeable. Uh -huh. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Bueno, uh -huh. compañero, igual dio problema ayer, ¿no? Mucho, sí, sí, sí se recuerda. Knowledgeable, sí. knowledgeable. Porque ya, no se repite, no se dice, si usted la lee y la dice, lo va a confundir, porque uh -huh. la palabra es bien larga. Entonces, sí, bien, no. Bien compleja. Ajá, tiene que solo guiarse por la pronunciación ahí, como sin verla, y solo seguir el sonido. Que sería knowledgeable, knowledgeable. He was very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Yes. The other ones you mentioned, they were good. Maybe this phrase, esta quizás la manera en la que la dice tiene que hacerlo como algo así. How is it going? How is it going? Ajá. How que suene un poco más, ajá, que suene algo así. How is it going? Porque si usted va, how is it going, como que bueno, va muy, uh -huh. muy despacio. Entonces sí, es como uh, un... Unido, is, is, uh -huh. is how going. is it going? Uh -huh. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Ok, sí, sí. Because it's eh, an, an informal word. La palabra es tan no leche por. Eh, será más que todo la, uh -huh. el problema. Bueno, The most difficult one. Yes, yes. Uh, computer to provide, provide. Provide. Example. Mm -hmm. Provide uh, sí. okay. Okay, sí, sure. Thank you. Uh, veamos, no. Solamente es for asking. Está mm -hmm. Ten for asking. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Okay. Voy a soñar con esa palabra, no le sepo. Sí, a la diciéndola ahí. No le sepo. No le sepo. No le sepo. Y ahí, okay. ahí lo está diciendo bien. Así no que le solo. Por eso voy a estar con eso. Ajá. Ajá. Repeat, repeat, Ajá. repeat. All right. <laughs> Excellent, yes. teacher. Thank you. Ok. You're welcome, Rodrigo. Only. Good night. Teacher. Good night, Rodrigo. See you tomorrow, bro. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.